What is up guys? I have not done a video in a good long while. I wanted to do something that was a little bit more helpful. So I'm doing a video on CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. I feel like CLA is growing more popular these days with fat loss and I did a good amount of research, about 10 studies proving it effective in some cases and some cases not so effective. So let's go ahead and get started. Supplementation with conjugated linoleic acid for 24 months is well tolerated by and reduces body fat mass in healthy overweight humans. 4.5 grams daily for 24 months led to a 6 to 8 percent reduction in body fat mass compared with baseline. In the extension study where the placebo group was supplemented for 12 months lost 6 percent of their body fat. And in this extension study they found best responders were subjects with a BMI from 25 to 30 suggests that the effect is greatest in those with the highest BMI and in women who have a relatively greater contribution of fat mass to body weight than do men. On to the next study by Blankson, which is a little bit more popular. Four groups supplemented with 1.7 grams, 3.4 grams, 5.1 grams, 6.8 grams over 12 weeks noticed a drastic drop in fat mass and an increase in lean body mass. And just to add fuel to the fire, Effects of conjugated linoleic acid on body fat accretion in overweight or obese children. The increase in body fat mass as measured by DEXA was smaller in the CLA group than in the placebo group. So during this growth of adolescent children where fat gain is inevitable, it was slowed down with CLA. So what these studies are showing you here is that CLA, yes, it is effective in fat mass reduction. Though it was over a long period of time, they are results nonetheless. So what about the average people? Will they benefit from CLA? In this study here, CLA reduces body fat in healthy exercising humans. These subjects had a BMI less than 25 and supplemented with 1.8 grams daily for 12 weeks. Strange, with half the dosage they saw greater results than Blankson. This may be due to the difference in fat mass and in the exercises performed. So this study here was with more of the average BMI. but little strange that 1.8 grams had greater results than Blinkson. Could have been the group, could have been the exercise performed, but results nonetheless. So moving on to those who are leaner individuals like myself, I'm a physique competitor. Will CLA help me drop a bit more body fat? In this study by Kreider, 23 experienced resistance trained men experienced no significant difference in total body fat mass, nor were their strength increases after 28 days of supplementation, 6.2 grams daily. They felt that 28 days was not enough time to conclude that CLA is effective. I agree that 28 days is not long enough to conclude that CLA is effective as compared to the other studies that went as long as up to two years. Moving on to another study that involved fit individuals, our results support the data of Kreider showing that CLA supplementation for a short period, three to four weeks combined with exercise does not affect body weight and composition. But in conclusion, our results in vitro demonstrated that CLA supplementation may induce an increase in testosterone levels. So keep that in mind. Though it, there was no change in body composition, but again, it was only three weeks, 28 days was the one before that, it did have a small increase in testosterone. There was a study on fit individuals that did have a positive effect. Pankowski observed a relatively small increase of lean body mass and a decrease of body fat mass in 76 moderately physically active subjects fed CLA for 7 weeks. This study also found a possible anti-catabolic effect. The placebo group had a significant increase in 3-methylhistidine which is an indicator of muscle breakdown. So maybe there's an ergogenic effect with CLA. Maybe you won't see an increase in lean body mass or a decrease in fat mass, but there is something going on here. So in this study, three different groups, one supplemented with creatine, CLA, and protein, one with creatine and protein, and one with just protein. They found the one with all three had a greater increase in bench press and leg press strength and lean tissue mass than the other groups combined. So something's going on here. In one study, they found CLA increased testosterone. In the next, they found that it might have an anti-catabolic effect. In the third, stacking CLA with creatine and protein had greater results than with creatine and protein alone. Again, only one of those studies had an increase in lean body mass, decrease in fat mass, but there is something going on here. Finally, because we talked so much about resistance training, this study here showed CLA had no ergogenic benefit on this model of 
aerobic training induced improvements in neuromuscular fatigue or on-field test of muscular endurance and power. So basically, from all this research, should we buy CLA for fat loss? I think we should. The research is there proving that in obese and overweight individuals, fat loss can occur even in the average and one study with the lean individuals. Also, what we learned from CLA is that it might have an ergogenic effect. There might be an anti-catabolic effect. There might be an acute rise in testosterone. And when stacked with creatine, CLA, and protein, there was a greater increase in strength and lean body mass. I think we should all take CLA. It's kind of those things where it's a little change here, a little change here, a little change here, or adds to an overall big change. So if you guys have the extra 20 bucks a month, and you guys are competitors, you guys are someone really wanting to push it to the next level, then I do suggest picking up CLA. And the way you dose it, two grams in the morning, two grams afternoon, two grams before bed, so six grams total daily is what I do. Um, but yeah guys, so that's the video about CLA. Hopefully it helped you guys out and made your decision on whether you should pick up CLA or not. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.